This LeGarrette Blunt here, man, three-time Super Bowl champion. I just want to give you a shout-out to the YouTube channel, Micro Mike, man. Hey, Eddie Murray, former Detroit Lion. Make sure you watch Micro Mike on YouTube. Calvin Johnson Jr. here, uh, a.k.a. Megatron. Big shout-out to Micro Mike and YouTube channel, man. Keep on talking to everything Detroit Lions, and I just got to remind you, man, happy wife, happy life. Lions have many positional groups that they must get better in 2021. And I identified 10 positions that the Lions must target in free agency in the NFL draft to upgrade the roster. Before we jump into the video, if you're not a subscriber and over 50% of you are not, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Let's get to 13,000 subscribers. Also hit that like button. Let's go ahead and start with the number one position the Detroit Lions must upgrade, and that's the linebacking core. If you look at the linebacking core, it was extremely slow in 2020. The coverage was abysmal. We're talking five, seven yards off from the receiver, from the tight end. It was bad, and they definitely had issues stopping the run. Now, this could be a little bit due to the fact that Matt Patricia was the head coach, but also the talent-wise, they must get better. They also have free agents, one being Jared Davis. They could re-sign him, but even if he re-signed, he had issues as well in 2020. You go ahead and look at the depth chart right now. With only three linebackers currently signed, Christian Jones, Jelani Tavai, Jamie Collins and Tavai and Jones were really bad per stats for 2020. I mean, they were slow, they have having issues, and the Lions must get better from this group. Ways that they can upgrade this roster, I think they need to attack it definitely in free agency here, get a little more depth there, find some guys that fit more of the Dan Campbell style. Also, I definitely think they're going to have to go to the draft and target the linebacking core hard and may have to target fairly early could be a Micah Parsons. Let's go ahead and jump to the number two position here. And I believe the Detroit Lions really need to get the Lions defensive line core much better. And I'm not just talking about defensive ends, but I'm talking about defensive tackle as well. They have had lack of sacks, lack of pressure, and they had issues stopping the run. They also have a notable free agent such as Everson Griffin, who could be leaving the Detroit Lions. If you look at the depth chart here, it's okay regarding the amount of folks in here, but Trey Flowers, he was injured. John Penasini, he's just a draft pick. Danny Shelton, he was injured sometimes. And same with Deshaun Hand. If you look at Nick Williams, Kevin Strong, you don't want Kevin Strong and Austin Bryant you don't want to go ahead and stand firm that these are the guys who's going to rush at your quarterback. Also, Julian Aquara, he had some issues and injuries and that resulted in a lack of pressure from the defensive end position. Big time free agent in Romeo Aquara. The Detroit Lions must go into free agency, upgrade the position. I think the best way to do that is simply re-sign Romeo Aquara and then go into the draft again high to get a defensive end or defensive tackle maybe even first round and second round they really need to identify this positional group and upgrade it comment what position is most concerning to you that will be the pinned comment of this video let me know to me it's the linebacking core and i really want to see this thing upgraded but i'm just one person i want to see what my subscribers think about the positional group for the detroit lions number three on my list is the wide receiver position the Lions have many free agents, Kenny Galladay, Marvin Jones Jr., and Danny Amendola. The Detroit Lions need to figure out what they can do here and get some players on the field. When we look at the current players signed to the deal, Quintess Cephas is looking like a number one, and that's not what you want to see. Geronimo Allison, number two, definitely what you want to see. And Victor Bolden, a number three. The Lions must acquire more talent here they can go into free agency and go ahead and get a individual such as a Corey Davis they could re-sign Kenny Galladay but I think they need to attack the NFL draft as well I think they need to do both I think they need to sign a decent wide receiver in free agency and I think they need to draft one because when you look at that depth chart that's not what you want to see you don't want to see Quintus Cephas one you don't want to see Allison two and you don't want to see Victor Bolden three the Lions gonna have to address this at both times of free agency and the draft. The fourth position here that the Lions need to target is starting right tackle. Is Big V the guy? 
I don't believe so. He was a letdown in 2020. And Terrell Crosby, now look, he's a good swing tackle, but we're looking for a strong right tackle for the Detroit Lions. When we look at the offensive line, it's actually not too bad, but it's the right side with the issues. The problem, though, is Halapludi Vati Vaitai signed a fairly big contract, and it's going to hurt us in 2020. The Lions, though, need to protect Jared Goff, and I don't think he is the guy to do it. I think if the Lions have a chance to get a right tackle and if an elite one falls to them, maybe in the draft, I think that's the best way to get it. If not, if they feel that they can just get a depth guy and go with Terrell Crosby, that's possible. But it is important to make sure that that right side is solidified. The Lions need help with starting safety because Deron Harmon is a free agent. In the backups, when we look at Harris, he had a lot of issues, and can Walker improved? We've seen him have issues in 2020. It definitely could have been part of the scheme, but we need help at the safety position. When we look at the depth really quick, Will Harris and C.J. Moore, that is not what you want to see as you're starting safety one and two. I think these guys are depth at best. Will Harris, he could be cut the way that he played. And Tracy Walker, he had issues. So how can the Lions address this? I think the best way to address the safety position for the Detroit Lions is go ahead and draft one in the draft. There's plenty of quality safeties, and I think that the Lions can get a starting caliber, maybe in round three, round four. You could find some guys to help the position out. Maybe they can pick up a free agent veteran. With that said, I think just go ahead and draft one. Hit that like button, folks. Let's get those likes up. Let's try to get to 400 likes. I've been challenged again by Chat Sports. Yes, they tell me this every day. Let's get 400 likes. And let's get the One Pride Nation out there. Let's get this video flowing. The Lions need to get a future quarterback, potentially, for the Detroit Lions. Yes, we traded for Jared Goff, but he looks to be just a stopgap guy. We need to build for the future, and if there's a franchise quarterback available to get, I think the Lions should take it. With that said, I don't believe they should reach for a quarterback. I think it's important to understand that if they stay at seven and one falls to them, go ahead and take it, but don't take a Kyle Trask at seven or a Mac Jones. No need to jump the gun here. They can go ahead and wait for another year, or if one falls, pick it up. That's the best solution here for me. I don't want to pick another quarterback up in free agency. We don't need another Tyrod Taylor. We need to go ahead and release Chase Daniel and look for the future for a more of a younger quarterback if one falls. If one doesn't fall, hey, David Blau is the backup in my opinion. I just don't want to see Chase Daniel, and I don't want to reach for a quarterback. Number seven on my list is the Lions linebacking core again. Why? It was slow, horrible, and they couldn't stop the run. We already talked about it here. When you look at the depth, it's bad. These guys are bad, and the Lions are going to need a lot of help. A lot of free agents, linebackers are hitting the market. We got Reggie Raglan. We got Miles Killebrew. You got Jared Davis. It's important for the Detroit Lions to get depth at the position. How can we upgrade this? I think the Lions could double up in the draft and take another linebacker, maybe in the sixth round, something like that, if they take one early in this draft. It's important. This position is bad. It's an abysmal, and it's the worst I've ever seen. And I think it's important that they double up on linebacker, possibly in the draft, and maybe get another one in free agency. Backup running back. Yes, running back is here. Why? Because Adrian Peterson's a free agent. Kerryon Johnson has some issues. And if you hear about Dan Campbell, he is a run first football team. I love Swift. I think he's great. We have issues with Nick Bodden as he's a fullback here. And Kerryon Johnson was not getting the amount of yards you want to see from the second round draft pick. For the Detroit Lions, I think the best way to get a number two or a number three running back is free agency. I think you can find someone there, maybe re-sign Adrian Peterson, but go ahead and find one in free agency. I really don't want to draft a running back in the 2021 NFL draft unless we get more picks. I just feel like there's more needs there, and I think for a backup, you could probably find one in free agency that'll help the Detroit Lions out. Number nine here is a starter slash backup guard. Is Joe Dahl the starter? Is he good enough? And Logan Stenberg, is he going to be used? Because we didn't see him get used last year. And if we don't get a starter, it's always good to get help with the big boys up front. Again, we look at the backups here, and you got Logan Stenberg. We keep seeing Ode Ibushi, who's a free agent. We don't want to see him anymore for this team. Maybe the Detroit Lions want to take a flyer on one. If the Lions can find a backup in free agency, I think that's fairly fine. 
maybe take a late round guard. With that said, I think that this would be a more of a depth, more of taking a chance to see maybe if an undrafted rookie could come in here and compete like a Bo Benchua. Not the biggest need in the world, but it's always good to have more depth at the offensive line position. Last but not least is a rotational defensive end. Again, I think it's really important to have many bodies on that line. How do you win games, folks? You win in the trenches, and defensive lines get after the quarterback. We need better backups. Why? Because Kevin Strong right now is a backup, and that's not what you want to see. You want to see more, a better presence for the defensive line. We've seen it before, and we can see it again. We need better players for this football team. I have no problem with the Detroit Lions going into free agency, maybe picking up another guy, throw on the defensive end position to help get after the quarterback. You can get plenty of quality free agents for low amounts of money, maybe an undrafted rookie as well who can get after it, but we need better depth with this end position. In the upcoming videos, we've got the One Pride podcast on Thursday. It's going to be a great show, 6.30 p.m. Eastern time. It's live. We take the mailbag segments make sure you're there you don't even have to be a lions fan we'll take any questions we have fun doing so also i got more videos of the draft coming up more videos of free agency wide receivers everything positional groups make sure that you hit that notification bell so you don't miss out with that said folks adios